Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I am going to play in a play run event again. I know I've said farewell to Flickergate twice, but in this article I got some feedback from a real Flickergate player, somebody who actually won tournaments with it. Uh, his name is pretty complicated, Mile Guaida. Okay, I won't try to pronounce that, but his feedback here made me change the deck, but I didn't change into his deck. Uh, I took the um, shell I had, I removed a master components, I removed the Grey Perch, one Ravenous Rats and two Haunted Fangraphs, put in Colored Mana, a Prophetic Prism and two Clinging Mists. As uh, Mile Guanevem told me that Clinging Mists was the key to winning the matchups that I did lose. He was also very critical of uh, Murder and the other black removal. Uh, Victim of Night, but I feel that it is too late to change it. He recommended Tragic Slip and he also had a couple of one-offs here in his deck that I really couldn't uh, put in there. I've tested some of them and I thought that um, I'm gonna go with the shell this my still quite controversial uh, Deadly Recluses and why I Scarecrows in the sideboard. But I think my biggest, uh, uh, the worst cards were Master Components and Great Perch in main deck. So this is what I'm doing. Clingy Mist is then the secret tech that should help us today. Uh, giving us one or two extra turns in which to establish control. We didn't need a master components because we draw a thousand cards. So it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? What else did he say? He said the mono blue matchup is even, the Demir matchup is bad and everything else I should be able to beat. So now I will beat everything else today or just auto drop like a boss again. Uh, there is a little problem with uh, uh, the registration here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so it's a bit delayed, but I think it will be underway shortly. Pairings are coming. I am playing against Gordani. I am playing standard pauper. What did I name the deck? Did I rename it? God, I don't know. That's the right one then. Let's... Um, do it. Who was my opponent? Gordani. He hasn't created yet. Hem. I could actually go to my C folder and look for the deck there. I hope that's the right deck. Let's double check that. It looks like the right deck. Uh, round one. Or he did create it. There it went. So we are joining him. So what do we know about this guy? Three rounds of Swiss. Gordani has... Oh, he's playing white wi white weenies. Uh, maybe we used to. Maybe he is one of the players I actually played against. Yo! Play first. Ooh, what a nightmare. I have to send that back, right? This I can keep. But 
uh, my new mentor's point about the deck is uh, taken here. Uh, he said the Victim of Night was a bad removal spell for the deck because it was too heavy on black. And uh, yeah, looks that way. Mono blue flyers. Frostburn weird. Could quite easily get past here. Um, but Dead Recluse will hold the fort. Divination. That was a surprise. Do I now? I don't do anything. <sighs> Mr. Landrop. What's the shame? <sighs> I suppose there is a combat trick of some sort. Sea kite. So they both die, and then I draw a land, and everything is okay, but I don't. Hmm. Yes, uh, the point about Victim of Night is very clearly illustrated, though Tragic Slip would be very, very hard to activate and use. So, do I now prevent these six points of damage? I think I have two, right? I do have the mana. Yep. Let's see if that was what I needed to. Uh, maybe. But no. Now a couple of good essence scatters will keep me occupied. Twenty two land. How many land did he actually have in his deck? Let's check it out. Uh, that is my uh, the guy who actually won tournaments with Flickergate instead of O2 dropping like a boss. Uh, let's check that. 9, 13, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22 as well. I am in so much trouble. I think he holds uh, a dissipate now. I will try to flick it right now because I want the land. Yeah. Okay, how much damage is this? Uh, two plus five. Seven, nine. Well, I'll throw him under the bus. We'll prevent. Actually, we'll prevent three damage, so it's decent. And I'm quite convinced he has an essence scatter now. If he does, he will use it. Oh, 
Now the point ab ab about the victim of night is very clearly illustrated. But it's not like I picked up this game, this deck yesterday. I played a lot with it. Can I even live here? Four, six. Yes, I can. But I'm still destroyed by just one. Uh, Bounce spell here, and then I'm dead. Seems that I will live to fight another round. But then, of course, any counter spell ruins my day. And it does have counter spell. So, the sideboard plan says uh, no ravenous rats. Uh, four one eyed scarecrows. One devour flesh. One deadly recluse. Taking out the prisps, which seems sketchy at best. A master components, grey perch. So we do take out the clinging mists, as they are not. He is not aggressive enough. The devour flesh seems loose here, and I don't think we can keep it. We can keep it for a murder. Well, let's do this. At least here we have Victim of Night Mana and a One Eyed Scarecrow and Ubulsar. But he's right about the mana problems. He even uses red too. My a new friend whose name I cannot pronounce. I will include a link to the article. I think uh, killing the Delver here is a good thing. Yeah, let's just kill him. Frostborn Weird has entered the building, and he is not easily stopped by one-eyed scarecrows. Let me see. Digging for the fourth land, but it will not come! accept my beating here but I think that was very critical that I didn't find it going deadly close here as the scarecrow doesn't do anything right now sea kite warning though Uh, 
play the scarecrow and not into open mana. It's better to play the deadly crows here, I think. At which point you will counter. Well, there is a wonderful target for Ubelsar, but if he counter the Deadly Recluse, mustn't he have another Essence Gatherer then? Or cancel or some means to counter Gatekeeper, because the way I win is by playing my Gatekeepers. And Frostborn Weird does not fight Gatekeepers. Very well. Does he? Just not there. Do I flicker now? And I think it's better to use the one eye scarecrow to draw out uh, an essence scatter. Because one day I might even draw the fourth land. Because now we have three powers, so we can't kill anything. So I become a 2-3, he becomes a 2-3, he becomes a 3-2. <sighs> I could sacrifice the Frostbone we had to get through here, but... Right. 2-3, 3-2. They both die. Not yet. I'd much rather do that trade with the gatekeeper. I think. Like Mr. Ceruli, who is next on the list of things to cast. <sighs> Sweet. Salvation. No mana. And there is the sea kite thing. Well, the combination of Scarecrow and Deadly Clues keeps the flyers at bay quite well. Uh oh. But it still does. Uh oh, two four. That's way too big. Okay, maybe a mana now. This time I have to flicker the visionary just to try to find something. Uh, I think I'm trading here. It's a 
triple evolved dude. Jesus Christ. No, I'm flickering now. But it just is not there. Now that trade with the Frostburn Weirds is gonna be really painful. And Ubelsar doesn't do a whole lot. So do I now focus on murder, my expensive removal spell? Or... Um, I think I'm gonna have my worst rating in my life. Right here. Except that I have 1600 in all formats. Uh, okay, here they come. We can't really block anything, can we? So if I sacrifice the visionary, maybe too late to do. No, I'm taking it all. But it's probably my last opportunity to do so. <laughs> well, can't blame a guy for trying, right? The chance that this guy resolves is very slim. Even if it does, we have to deal with the um, flyer somehow. Cancel. No, sea kite. Whoa! That was interesting, okay. Three flyers. And nothing I can kill with Ubulsar. Interesting. Yeah, I mass those funky components. But now a ground assault is not possible. Okay, but then Ugh. That is no longer a valid point. Well, he can't block the Saruli Gatekeeper, can he now? So I can actually attack. Or otherwise he will let me kill a Frostburn Weird. But in order to kill those flyers, I have to get... Another Ubelsar into play and then flicker them both to kill one flyer. Okay. Are you trying to make me cast it again? Probably. Three 
free damage. There's the guild gate, so we'll uh, recast it, right? Into whatever trick he has. Or will we? Yes, we will. Yeah. So now I'm on four turn clock. So maybe, oh, the plot thickens. Gatekeeper mana. Another Golgar guild gate. We have to take out the flyer here, right? Things are looking bleak. Oh, murder time. I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, so we are blocking. Frostbone weird. And then we are killing Seakite. There's two cores left. <sighs> Ubulsar for the Cloudfin Raptor. And that recluse. Uh oh. Well, they are both on the table here, but he will silent departure that thing and win the game, of course. Yeah. That played about like I expected. And I'm just not doing very well <laughs> in these standard poker tournaments. Oh, Jesus. Well, just confirms my conclusions about Flickergate. But! 
and this was actually the, my match with uh, Mono Blue Flyers finally. But yeah, the least prob the smallest mana problems, and then you die. Uh, though I can still uh, two on this and get to top four or top eight. Not sure how it plays, but uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 